she stumbled upon two tiny kittens in the road. As soon as she saw it, she literally grabbed them. I got a call asking me if I could take them in, and I love fostering orphan kittens. Yeah, I'm gonna take them in. I got a container I put in blankets, a heat pad because they can't regulate their temperature, and I have a stuffed animal with a heartbeat in it to like mimic the mom's heartbeat so that they feel more safe. I had a routine with them. The first thing I would do is I'd wake them up by using a soft toothbrush to stimulate the mom licking them to wake them up. I have to feed them every two hours. You hear like these little cries. You know that there was a lot of fight in them and they didn't want to give up. And that's what I immediately loved. I was like, I'm never giving up on these kittens. Every two to three hours, I'd potty them, feed them, potty them. The first thing I did was research everything, especially in Kuwait, where there are no 24-hour vets. It's a whole different ballgame, whole new sets of challenges. They went from being so tiny and, you know, they wouldn't even be able to move to, like, chaos. They wouldn't leave me alone. They would chase me everywhere. they climb on me. I was like their cat tree. I had a cat tree for them, but nope, that wasn't good enough. They used to just get on my shoulder and lick my hair. At one point, I just wear my bathrobe because they would like scratch, you know, try to get up me and they would just sit on my head sometimes. Their personality started to shine through. They were really spunky, they were loud, they were adventurous, they were playful. But when it comes to Bob, he's always so affectionate. If you just ignore him for like five minutes, he'll start meowing so loud. And then as soon as I run to him, I'm like, what's wrong? And he just look at me like, pet me. He's super clumsy and gets himself into trouble all the time. He loves playing fetch. Knox, she was the louder one. She was the one that was more spunky, but then she was more calm. She would watch him do all the naughty things and just like sit there like all pretty and angelic. They're so different, yet so attached to each other. They can never go on without each other. <laughs> I found someone who was going to New York. I knew that they would have a much better uh, life there. So every once in a while, she'd send me something really funny Bob would do or something cute that Knox would do. They were born into this world with a huge disadvantage, and now they're living the life in New York, and I was really happy.